Now, one of the main concerns that most people have when starting a business like Amazon FBA is they don't know where to start. They have no idea. And it's understandable because the amount of info that's out there, it's so easy to just have your brain completely scrambled because you don't know where to start. You know, you have people shouting out all these businesses saying, do this business, it's easiest to start. You know, I made 10K in a month in the first 30 days. And your brain just scrambled because you're thinking, who's telling the truth? You know, what is the business that is actually going to make money? Now, before I get into the rest of this video, please, please, if you like this kind of content, please give this video a like. It is the most helpful way it can help out myself and the channel. Subscribe to the channel as well. It will be a massive help. And if you want to learn more, okay, that is going beyond what I'm talking about in this video, um, go to the end of the video or you can, you can watch this until the end of the video and I will talk a lot more about um, some more advanced ways to to get into learning this kind of thing because this video is obviously I can't teach everything in this video So go and check that out if you like but please the least that you can do is just like this video and subscribe to the channel I always give a lot of content um, give the best content that I can here and it would really mean a lot to me if you did and I promise there's more good content coming as well, but let's get into the rest of the video. One of the things I want to say straight off the bat is that any of these businesses can make money, okay? Myself, I personally teach uh, Amazon FBA and dropshipping, and then also creating your own course. It's just because that's the one that I have done personally. In reality, I think everyone's right, okay? Whether it's crypto trading, whether you're you know, buying and selling, like flipping NFTs, whether you're doing YouTube, whether you are doing social media marketing, Amazon, dropshipping, whatever it is, you can make money out of any of them. But the main reason for this video is that a lot of people struggle with even getting started. And I wanna let you know that everyone's been in that same boat. I've been in the same boat. The students in uh, Ecom Educate who are now, some of them are making upwards of 100 grand a year, upwards of even at getting to the point where it's 100 grand a month in sales. And Amazon, they all started at the same point as you and me, where we had no idea what to do, no idea where to start, how to do it, but I'm gonna talk about a few things here uh, to really help you with that and to really narrow down you know, what you need to do and the way you need to go about it. So a few things to consider if you're looking to get into this business. And a lot of these things, in my opinion, are things that no one really talks about. The things that people skip over because all they wanna talk about are the sales, they wanna talk about, you know, basically it's fine to talk about getting products and whatnot, but there's so many different aspects around the, these kinds of online businesses, especially Amazon. They you need to talk about beforehand, before even getting started, because you need to put yourself, in my opinion, you need to put yourself in the position to actually succeed at it and uh, really steer away from this paralysis that people have uh, because they're not sure how to start, they're not sure where to start, and they're not sure if they're make, even making the right decision. So I changed the camera around. Okay, now, what I wanna get into first is mindset, okay? What a lot of people don't talk about, I won't talk about this much because I know you wanna get into more than nitty gritty stuff, but mindset's really important. So. When it comes to creating business, I have gone on the endeavors myself of multiple. Okay, I've done Amazon FBA, I've done dropshipping, and I've also done education, online education, creating courses, and managing students. Okay, so I've done those three businesses, and I guess you could include YouTube as well as a business since that creates a bit of income for me as well. The one thing that I need you to remember with this, the one thing that I really wanna focus on with mindset here, out of anything, is that it takes time. Okay, I know that's that's pretty, you've probably heard that before, but I really need you to understand that it's very, the, the likelihood of you starting an online business and leaving your current job and doing it full time or even just having a good side hustle income, it's most likely not gonna come in the first one to two months. Okay, it may not even come in the next six to 12 months. It may, it may do so, okay, there's a lot of people out there who become successful in a few months with it, but we're talking about longevity of a business and we're talking about really starting something that is going to last you a long time because obviously that's what you're looking to do. You're not looking to start a business or just have a side hustle that lasts a few months, right? So you need to you need to remind yourself that this isn't going to happen straight away, okay? And even though that might be a bit of a downer, you need to think of it as though if you set yourself up to have a long-term business, it is going to flourish. It's not only going to exponentially grow over time, but you're going to set yourself up for a longer period. These people that they start the businesses and they just want to get, you know, fast track to the quickest destination of how can I make 10K a month? And they're only thinking about the money. They're not thinking about actually growing the business and what to do to scale it. They won't last. They're the people that just start a business and then they finish, you know, two months time and then they try and start something else. And it's just a continuous cycle. I can tell you from not only my own experiences, but even coaching 
some of the students who have grown their businesses, they're still selling on Amazon. And even some people that I've seen still drop shipping to this day, they focus on the business. They don't just focus on the money. I don't know if you like these different cam angles. I've never done this. I just think it's just better than just me sitting in one spot. Okay, maybe, who knows? There's my aircon. So next thing I wanna talk about is, is the business right for you? So before you start anything, okay, and in regards to this video, Amazon FBA, you need to look at whether the business model is right for you. So in my opinion, the people who stay with Amazon FBA are the ones that know that it is mostly about, okay, there's, and we'll talk about the pros and cons more as well, but it's mostly about, there's a bit more uh, upfront capital compared to something like dropshipping. Okay, there's a bit more upfront capital compared to something like social media marketing. But it is a great avenue if you don't wanna create your own website, if you want to have someone handle the the shipping and the storage and the shipping of your products and you want to really grow a brand and heavily focus on branding, then Amazon FBA is the right thing for you, okay? Again, we'll talk about this a bit more later, but Amazon is a very cash flow heavy business. So it means that there's the potential to grow a business is huge because if you're reinvesting, you've got cash flow, like month in, month out, then you will grow exponentially. You can start by growing one product and then multiple. And the thing is, is that People aren't gonna stop using Amazon, okay? That's that's the thing, there's always going to be organic traffic, especially here in Australia. We'll talk about a little bit about um, different markets as well. We'll talk a little bit about Australia now, but the Amazon Australia marketplace is still very new. It's like a baby. So it's a great place to start and begin to grow, okay? And you're not going to be flooded in with all of this extra competition, say, if you start somewhere in the US. But it is a cash flow based business. So what I was talking about with that is that you most likely won't be able to just start taking out profits straight away. Okay, I've had a couple of people come up to me when they first start and they say, here's my plan. Okay, I want to you know, uh, make five grand a month and then I'm going to be taking out 1500 a month uh, in profit for myself. And then I say, say to them, okay, wait a second. This is from the first, the very first month okay, that they're thinking. And I, I tell them, look, you need to just remember that if you take profits for yourself straight away, that's going to leave you with less to grow and you're looking at long term. Okay, so, so Amazon is a very cash flow heavy business, but it is also a great way to brand and grow your product. So you gotta make sure that it's right for you before you uh, go ahead and do it. And you gotta make sure that you're growing something that you really, really enjoy, that you're passionate about. Okay, so if Amazon FBA is not right for you, or if you're not sure if Amazon FBA is, is not right for you, the best thing I, I would suggest to you is to try it. Okay, just try it. I didn't know if dropshipping was for me when I first did it. I didn't know if Amazon was for me when I first did it. And the only way that I figured that out, that I really enjoyed them, was because I did them. The first thing, the very first online business I ever wanted to look at doing was social media marketing. And I didn't try it, okay? I didn't start doing it, and I didn't know if it was for me. But Amazon FBA was the first one that I tried myself to do, and I figured out that I really enjoyed it. I would suggest to do it for at least six to 12 months, really go hard at it, and then figure out if you if you want to stick with it, okay? Don't get stuck with paralysis because you don't know if it's the best thing for you, okay? In reality, like I said, most of these online businesses make money. Affiliate marketing makes a lot of money. Dropshipping makes a lot of money. Social media marketing, Amazon, they all make money, but you're not gonna know if it's right for you unless you try. So I've just decided I'm gonna do the rest of this video on this whiteboard, okay, right here. And uh, we've got our friend here, so he's just going to be our assistant here, um, just to make sure that um, you guys are watching and just to make sure that uh, the information that I'm saying is actually relevant. So the next thing I wanna talk about is what kinds of products sell really well on Amazon. Now, I'm going to get my red marker here and say something really, really important, okay? Hopefully you can see this. I'm a really, really messy writer. Okay, and this whiteboard is, is uh, really wobbly, but brand. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can, hopefully the thing isn't um, blurred out, but brand is huge on Amazon, okay? So brand, and I'll write this down as well, I need to get used to this, but brand on Amazon, okay? Brand on Amazon equals trust, okay? And this is also, this is also going into drop shipping as well. So not just with not just with Amazon now, but even dropshipping. Your brand on Amazon, if you start growing a brand, that means customers trust it. Because you think you think to yourself, okay, what products work? And we'll also get into 
uh, as well what uh, what categories as well. well. We'll talk about that in a second, what, uh, what niches to look at. So with brand, you got to think about things that you've purchased in the past, okay? What am I wearing right now? This is a gym shirt, okay? I was the gym earlier today, but why did I buy it? Okay, I bought it not just for the quality, but I bought it off a, off a website where I buy my gym supplements, where I buy things like protein powder and, and pre-workout and things like that. I bought it from there because it's a brand, okay? They could have spent, they could have spent a dollar making this shirt, two dollars, and I paid, what, 20, 25 dollars for it? It doesn't bother me, I don't think about Oh, you know they're upping the price I think about I'm getting it from this website because I know the brand you know the brand so you got to think of your everything you buy okay the camera that I'm filming with is a Sony the mobile phone that I have is an iPhone the clothes that I'm wearing okay the things that you do even the places you buy your groceries from why do you buy from these places okay why do you shop there because you know the quality is gonna be good you know you're gonna get a good price but how do you know that because you know the brand Okay, you know the brand, you know they can deliver. And that's what you need to be talking about with, uh, you know, and, well, that's what you need to be thinking about in regards to uh, selling on Amazon. So, brand equals trust, okay? Now, we, I wanna talk a little bit, I, wanna, I don't wanna go too much on this because the video is gonna go for too long, but I wanna talk about the categories that you gotta look at, okay? So, we'll talk about best niches. And these are the ones that I suggest to get started with if you're a beginner because it is, in my opinion, can be a little bit easier to grow a brand around. Okay, so, first one, and I really hope you can see this. I really hope you can see this. First one's Baby. Okay, we'll do a list down here. Baby. I, I think I spelled that wrong. B-A-U, no, I spelled that right. Beauty. And then we've got uh, things like home. And that could be like home household. Uh, home improvement, things like that. So we've got that as well. Uh, we have things like tech, so technology. I used to be against technology, but as long as it's not something dangerous, that should be fine because technology, especially in, play, in uh, periods like quarter four, uh, where coming up to the Christmas sales, the holiday sales, the uh, Black Friday sales, tech is a massive one. Okay, so tech. Then we've got things like uh, fitness as well. Okay, I'm probably gonna forget a few, but uh, fitness, and then we've got things like pet supplies. I'm just trying to think if I have uh, missed any here. Baby, beauty, home, tech, fitness, pet supplies. Make sure I spell that right. Thank you, okay, he told me, he told me that it was wrong. So, these are just a few, okay? I'm probably missing out on a few, they'll probably come to me in a second, but you got to think of, okay, why are these good to sell in? Obviously, it's going to be hard to sell things like jewelry, sell things like groceries, because you need uh, sort of more, There's usually there's ways to sell it on Amazon, but you need to fill out forms, you need to get their approved to sell. So it's not just that, but these are really good niches that you can brand, okay? And they're niches that will always have uh, demand for. So baby's always going to have demand, beauty, home, home improvement, okay, tech, fitness, pet supplies, they're all things that surround uh, people's sort of needs and people's emotions, okay, especially things like pet supplies, okay, a lot of people care for their pets more than what they care for themselves, okay, so pet supplies is going to be a, a huge one, but all of these here, we're looking at brand, so you can start off, and if you think, okay, what if I want to change, change my, uh, my niche over time? You can do that, okay? You can you can start with a baby niche. You can have one product, say, if you're selling in the baby niche, and then you can go over to fitness, okay? But for these products that you're looking to sell, especially your very first product, okay? Well, every product, really, but the focus on your first product is going to set you up for, for the future of selling on Amazon. You need to look at branding. Okay, now, before we get on to price, I'm going to talk about one other thing that's really important. We've got a big video to, to go through, so I don't want to spend too much time, but this is really important, okay? So the next thing is, and hopefully my spelling is correct here, solving a problem, okay? If this is blurred out uh, on the camera, I'll just put some text over it. But you're gonna make sure that your product solves a problem. And the reason why is because it's always going to have demand. So if you're solving a problem for people, there's always going to be demand for it. And if you don't know what problem you want to solve with your product, start with your own problem, okay? I've always said this in my videos, and 
the products that I've sold, especially when it comes to things like drop shipping, uh, I have sold products that have solved my own problems first. First one I sold through Amazon that was really successful was a dental teeth plaque removal sort of scale of thing. It was just a teeth cleaner, okay? Because I wanted to get better at cleaning my own teeth. The second really successful product I sold was resistance bands. I sold them during COVID because gyms weren't open and I wanted a way to do my workouts. And I thought, okay, I'm solving my own problem. This is most likely going to solve a lot of other people a lot of other people's problems. So I started with my own problems. If you know of a particular problem that a product might solve, or if you have a problem in your own life or you've seen someone else's that you think a pro uh, product can solve, that's a good thing to get into. The next thing I want to talk about really quickly before we move on is price, okay? So price of your product. Now, majority of things that I buy on Amazon are anywhere from about 10 to 70, potentially $80, depending on what I need. The most I spend is about two to 300 um, because it was something that I need. I think it was a piece of equipment, okay? But you gotta have a price that makes sense to your customer that's in that impulsive buy range. So, but you also need to make sure that you have a price that is going to give yourself enough margin to make it viable to actually, you know, make any profit on because if you're selling a product that you're not making profit on, it's gonna be losing money. Okay? And there's there's no point in that. Even though it's not all about money, you're gonna make you're gonna make money, otherwise your business isn't gonna live. So you need to have a price point. I would suggest minimum, minimum $25. That's the very minimum. And you could go to a higher price point of maybe about $80 as a beginner. Okay? Now there's a lot of people that they drop ship high ticket items, they sell really high ticket items on, on Amazon as well. But as a complete beginner, I think personally, it is a bit easier to wrap your head around selling a product that is around 25 to $80, okay? Because you need a price range that not only makes sense for your customer, which is like an impulse buy, but it also makes sense for you. Okay, another question that I get asked and uh, that people get really confused about is what market do you sell in? Okay, so I'll just put markets up here and there's usually three markets that people ask about okay well two in particular amazon australia because that's what i that's what i mainly teach and what i talk about amazon australia and amazon us but there is a third one which i want to talk a little bit about uh, so we're just going to write them up here okay and write them up here so we have au aussie market we have us and uk is the last one so I want to talk a little bit about uh, the pros and cons of each and what you should consider. Okay, so the reason I teach uh, Amazon Australia is because obviously I'm an Aussie and the people that join, majority of them live in Australia. So it is, it feels better and most people know more about the market for uh, countries that they live in, especially when they're getting started. So I think at the moment from memory, uh, they have a population, well, we have a population of 26 million. Okay, the US, they have a population of, I think it's 350 million. And I don't remember, I'm going to get this completely wrong, but I know that it is in the middle, okay? So I'm just going to just be really uh, sort of uh, wrong on this. We'll just say that there's 150 million. I could be wrong, okay? I could be really wrong. But I do know that it's between, uh, we, we, there's more in Australia and less than the US, okay? so. If I'm wrong, that's fine. Tell me in the comments. But uh, I focus mostly on, on AU and US because I started selling the, in the US myself and then I moved to Australia and majority of my students sell uh, in Australia, have a few students selling in US and uh, even more selling in UK. So you're going to have to look at, okay, the amount of people here because in, in Amazon Australia, there's less people, okay, so there's less competition, but there's less demand. And not only that, Amazon Australia is very, very new in the Aussie market. The US, uh, it's been, it's got like at least a 10 year advantage on on uh, Australia for how, uh, how when Amazon launched there, uh, especially their FBA business model, okay, they launched there, I think at least 10 years prior to Australia. They've got a, a hell of a lot more people and uh, there's a lot of high demand, okay? So there's pros and cons of each. So. Here, I would say it is good for beginners. And I'm talking about, you know, good for beginners in the sense of you're not going to just get obliterated by, by uh, competition, okay? Now, US is also good for beginners, but there is more competition. That's one thing to know, 
Okay, but there's a better chance if you start in the US or UK, there's a better chance of having a product launch a lot faster and start making a lot more sales because there's a lot more demand. But usually what this means is that they're just gonna put a line here. So I'm gonna put these, these two along the same line here, okay? So there's more competition for these two. Sorry if I've made a mess of that, but for US and UK, there's more competition. Now, another thing to note here is that to compete with people in the US and the UK, you're going to most likely, depending on what niche you launch in, you're going to have to have more capital. So you're going to have to have more money, okay? To launch, more money, that's something to consider, okay? So again, it's the same here. Now obviously UK is not as much as the US, but here there's less money required to start, a lot of the time, unless you are competing against a really, really big niche. So that's something that you need to look at is what market do I sell in? I won't spend too much more time on this, but you have to look at how viable it is to sell in these markets. So as a complete beginner, if you want to start with a lot less, then I'd say Amazon Australia. But another thing, one more thing that I wanted to talk about is it takes longer. Okay, it takes longer to grow. Okay, and with, uh, with these two, it takes less takes less time, okay? And this is why a lot of people like launching in the UK. Now, uh, one of my most successful students, Athar, he launched in the AU first, then moved to UK, and he got a lot more sales in the UK uh, in a shorter period of time. But in saying that, he launched in the UK after he learned in Australia. Okay, so with his first product, if you haven't seen the, the, uh, the interview with the student, uh, he, I, I talked to him about his, his sales numbers and whatnot, but the first product that he ever launched, he started making, I think in the first month, he made about 4,000, 4,500 in sales in the Aussie market. First, one of the first products he launched in the UK, it made about 2,000 in the first day, but he knew what he was doing already. So that's something to know. So obviously there's less money, but it takes longer because there's not as much demand, even though there's less competition, there's not as much demand. It just takes longer to grow. Okay, in the US, it is highly, highly competitive. So I'm going to put a uh, red tick here, or just a red mark here. That means that it's really, really competitive. I'm going to put a uh, black mark here, because I think it's a good medium point. Uh, if you are starting to get, uh, you know, if you are a beginner, but you're starting to get a bit more knowledge, okay, you can start as a beginner, but I would highly suggest if you're a complete beginner and you're okay with taking a bit of time to grow, but you're not going to be flooded out. Okay, I think Australia is a really good light starting point for that. So that's why I teach it. But uh, again, these markets are available. These are just things to consider for what market to sell in. Okay, I changed my mind again. I'm not gonna to stick to the whiteboard, but I wanna talk about the pros and cons of this business model. Okay, because I think it's very important to discuss uh, if you are to really go for, you know, really to go for it. Okay, if you want to decide if, if you want to actually start Amazon. So we'll start with the pros and we'll start with some of the cons. So the pros of the business is that you don't have to create your own, own website. Okay, so with dropshipping, with uh, even social media marketing, okay, uh, you need to create your own website and drive your own traffic. With Amazon, you have the, uh, the privilege of utilizing their organic traffic. Now, obviously when you're starting, uh, on Amazon, you have to, I would suggest to use their advertising system on the Amazon platform because you can rank for certain keywords and whatnot, but you can essentially grow to the point where you don't need that. You just utilize Amazon's organic traffic. So you don't have to create your own website. You don't have to uh, create your own traffic. Okay. Now the other good thing is that they already have a fulfillment system ready to go for you. So you just want, when you launch a product, you send your products to Amazon and they store them in their warehouse, and then when you make a sale, uh, they just package it and they fulfill it, they ship it to your customer for you. So you don't have to worry about uh, fulfilling them yourself, you don't have to worry about warehousing and things like that, where if you wanna to get to that point with drop shipping, you need to talk to 3PLs yourself, you need to talk to uh, you know, getting you know your suppliers to potentially negotiate good shipping times, where Amazon, they have prime shipping, which is like, even in Australia now, it's like one to two days for a lot of items. So you don't have to worry about that, which is another good part. Uh, another pro is that Amazon really are good for branding. 
Okay, Amazon have recently in the last couple of years, the last few years, really made a big push for branding. And it's almost like they've rewarded sellers who focus on brand because they don't want to be uh, known for selling terrible products or for selling products from brands that don't look after their customers. So they're always really big on branding. And if you are big on branding yourself, you're going to be rewarded for that on Amazon. Okay, I've seen it with a lot of sellers. I've seen it with um, just how Amazon's going in general, the products that you're recommended. Predominantly what Amazon Australia used to be was just the really big brands. When they first launched at the end of 2017, it was just big brands. And it was really, it, it was weird to see because you go from Amazon US where there's all these random sellers that you haven't seen uh, Amazon Australia started with big brands only, but as more sellers got onto the platform, they are still favoring the sellers who are looking to actually grow a brand. And Amazon is really a platform to allow you to do that. So I'll get onto some of the cons. Obviously, uh, there's a bit more upfront cost with uh, starting Amazon, okay? I would suggest on the low side, I would suggest even if you're not getting too many units in, I suggest to start with probably about $1,500 for your first order, okay? And that's probably on the low side. If you are looking to be really, really successful, uh, or not, not super successful, but I mean um, take a shorter amount of time to be more successful and put more money into inventory, then you, I suggest you go for more, okay? I've had students that have put in six grand. I've had students that have started with 1,000 to 1,500. I've students started with two to three grand. And I can tell you that the more money that they have at the start, to put into it, so the more sort of like nest egg they have, more of a nest egg, the more uh, they are inclined to do well with their, especially their first initial order, because they already have that money there to get going to kickstart that uh, that cash flow. Now, one more con I'd say I'd talk about is basically that it just takes a little bit longer to get started uh, compared to something like dropshipping. Okay, with dropshipping, you can connect to your supply, you can create a store, and you can start running ads. Uh, if you're really good at it, you can do it all within a day. And if you're new to it, you can probably do it within a week. Okay. And with Amazon FBA, you are limited to getting your product shipped over. Okay. So you've got to find your product. You have to talk to your supplier. You have to get it shipped over. And usually that shipping period is what takes it a long time. Okay. So usually shipping, if you're getting shipped from China, if you're getting an order shipped from China, usually will take, I'd say on the low side, 15 days. Usually it's like 15 to 30 days. Okay. And you need to... Uh, take note of that because that's the only other downside I would say uh, it takes probably about on the low side maybe three weeks to four weeks to get things started okay so that's with your first order when you've got to the point where you're growing and you're just reordering inventory and you've got onto that sort of cash flow state you know I've got students now who are selling anywhere from like five to ten products and they have at least like two three maybe four top sellers that they're just now in the point where they're just growing and they're just reordering. So you just have to focus on managing the time frames for ordering, managing the money for for ordering, and you're good to go. But when you're first getting started, it just takes a little bit longer. So that's probably the, the only other con that I would talk about um, with this business. One other thing that they don't tell you about Amazon selling, which we, we went through a little bit before, but it's a cash flow based business, okay? And I just wanna reiterate to you, one thing that a lot of uh, Amazon sellers or a lot of people teaching Amazon don't tell you is that it's a cash flow based. It's, it's not likely that you are going to launch a product, make 30 or 50,000 in the first month and then just take home that profit. Because you've got to think, okay, cool, you do it for one month, but where are you going to be in the next month's following? Okay, the, my students who are continuing to do well after a year of selling, they're onto their second year of selling now, and uh, I think in the next few months, soon to be their third year of selling, they knew from the start that this is cash flow. This is a cash flow heavy business. So. After that initial 12 months, they started taking profits for themselves, but they've gotten to a point where they've grown those multiple products and they have a business that is almost basically running on autopilot. The only things that they're checking now are new products. So they've got products that, the ones that are top sellers, they are just that sort of, um, almost like a cash cow that's just continually turning in revenue because they're a consistent seller. But they only got to that point by focusing on cash flow and not taking out profit straight away. So if you focus on that, I say you have a better chance of being successful. You have a better chance at taking long-term profits and uh, really growing that business. Now, last thing I wanted to talk about here is if those of you who are watching, okay, if you're watching this and you are interested in learning more and having a step-by-step -step process, uh, you this is something that you might be interested in. Now, granted, 
I never expect anyone to get into this kind of thing, okay? So I do have a course that you can enroll into. This is just something that I wanna offer for those of you who want to get super serious about it and to learn from not only me, but other sellers in the group who are you know, actually doing it themselves. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. Now, before I get into it, yeah, you can start learning from YouTube. I have tutorials on YouTube that you can start learning from. The main difference that I get asked is, Jack, what's the difference between your free content on YouTube and your paid content? Uh, so basically with the course, not only is it structured in a sense that you know each step of the way that you're doing, not only is it that, it's more detailed and you also have the extra support. So you not only have messaging access with myself, but you have access to the other students in there uh, who some of them are still you know, actually doing it themselves and a lot of other beginners who are in there learning alongside you. So you're not doing it alone. That's the main thing is that there's a lot of support in there. We're also up, upgrading and updating a lot of things in here, not just some of the content, but uh, more in-depth stuff and then uh, bringing on um, you know, bringing on people to actually help with that as well. So help with, with the overall success. So that will be coming uh, in the next few months because uh, it's not just, for me, it's not just a course, okay? I don't want it to be just a course. I want it to be a platform, an actual education platform and we're growing into that, okay? We have over a thousand students now uh, in Ecom Educate and it is growing into more of an actual education platform. So just a little bit about what this is, okay? This is obviously a full structured course, step-by-step -step, um, guide to Amazon FBA. Now, this predominantly does focus on the Aussie market, but it can be applied to other markets, okay? So the actual processes can be applied to the markets. We just use examples and um, product research examples and just setting up your account in regards to Amazon Australia. But the processes, the techniques can be used for other markets as well. So these here, all these screenshots here, and I'm not gonna go through this whole website because you can look at it yourself. It's gonna be linked down below. But this here, these are all screenshots that you see from students from Ecom Educate, okay? And majority of these are from students who stick with it, okay? Now, these are from some of the most successful students, some of these screenshots here. We've got a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of um, results down here as well. These are all from students who have started. Okay, we've got Athar, Raf, Than as well. They are growing on the Aussie market. And then we've also got Athar who's on the UK market like I was talking about earlier. But there's a lot of people who have started selling and they are making those thousands per month. We've got people like Athar who are making, well, this is in, uh, in pounds, but they're making like upwards of 100 grand in sales a month. And then we've got Rafay who's making uh, upwards of a of 100 grand a year in sales just on the Aussie market. So it does work, okay? And it's just something that you can check out because I think it really will help uh, if you are stuck, if you're a beginner that's looking to learn, you're looking to invest some money into a business that can really churn out. I don't like the term passive income because it takes work, but it's something that you can really churn out um, a good business, good business with where you can get it to the point where it is making that residual income uh, income month in, month out. Okay, so you've got in-depth course, course structure, got a lot of other resources, a lot of extra resources as well, which again, these are great on their own, okay? And these are also being updated. Any existing students get any updates for free anyway. Uh, but the one big thing I like is the ongoing support. And like I said, we are in the process of uh, bringing someone on to really help with that because um, it has just been me that has been dealing with the ongoing um, the ongoing student support and whatnot, but it's really going to help to have someone else that is involved to, um, to really help with the student support who is also a very highly active seller as well, who is a multi six-figure seller, so, uh, you know, on Amazon. So uh, I think this will really help. And uh, if you are interested in this, please check out the link below and you can check out this whole this whole course page. There's more to it, but I'm not going to bore you with that. But uh, if you have any questions for me, comment on the video or just message me. I'll have all my social links down below as well under the video you can check out. But uh, I really hope this video helped because a lot of people don't talk about Amazon Australia and a lot of people don't really go into some of the nitty gritty stuff of it as well. And I personally learned a lot. Obviously, uh, I don't sell like I used to, okay? I've been 
running this education company for the past four years now. And I've learned a lot from teaching others and what, what beginners need. And I think that's the most important thing, okay? And I've also, not only that, I've learned a lot from the other students in there who are now selling and we talk to each other about things that, that work and things that, that help. And the main thing is to help the new people, the new students, uh, those of you who get in there and really um, really want to learn how, how. It's not just the course content, but it's the fact of having people around you that have done it before and having people around you that can really help you. So I hope this video helped, but uh, please sub to the channel if you really did enjoy this. Apart from that, hope you guys are having a wonderful day or night wherever you're watching. I'll see you guys soon.